Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. This week, I want to show you a brand new class that Tom and Yang have been working on, the Herbalist. Promote a worker to an Herbalist with a staff crafted by the Carpenter. Make them a basic workbench and use herbs and fibers to create tonics and bandages that will heal your hearthlings. Depending on how this plays, we may also add tonics that buff the stats of everyone in your town, or medicines that heal status effects caused by monsters. But why, you ask, are we working on the herbalist right now? The answer is that we've long felt that combat in Stonehearth is a bit shallow, not just because we want to add more classes and weapons, but because it's binary. When monsters attack, you either lose so catastrophically that you have to start over, or you win so absolutely that everything goes back to normal in a few minutes. One of our goals in Alpha 14 is to make sure that combats, when they happen, have an effect on the way that you allocate your town's resources even between monster raids. Now, when your hearthlings get injured, it will take them a very long time to regain hit points, if they regain hit points at all. To get your people back in top condition, you'll need things that the herbalist creates. But how, you may ask, does the herbalist get the herbs and fiber that they need to make their tonics? Well, herbs can come from existing plants like flowers, and fiber can come from silkweed. But what if monsters attack way too early for you to farm these ingredients? Well, I'm very excited to tell you that hearthlings can now relocate all small plants, flowers, silkweed, and even berry bushes, and that flowers will join silkweed and berry bushes in being renewable and reharvestable resources. This should get your herbalist started until your farmers or traders can create a steady supply of medicinal materials. So if you've ever wanted to create a fort out of berry bushes, Alpha 14 and the Herbalist will be there for you. This is just the very beginning of the Herbalist, though. We have a lot of tuning to do to make this new mechanic work right. I look forward to sharing our progress with you as we continue to refine the feature. In the meantime, we look forward to hearing your thoughts in our comments or on our forums at discourse.stonehearth.net. Some other public service announcements. First, if you have not tried our Holiday Frost Feast mod, created by community modders Froggy and RepeatPan, I highly recommend you give it a shot. Froggy and RepeatPan really knock themselves out this time with lights, building materials, craftables, quests, chimneys, roofs, and an incredibly overdecorated goblin neighbor. You can get Frost Feast from the dev blog on stonehearth.net. Second public service announcement, because it is December, this is our last Desktop Tuesday for 2015. Desktop Tuesdays will resume on Tuesday, January 5th, 2016. Thanks to everyone who has been here for us this year, and we will see you all again next year.